Well, uh, we were discussing supply and demand. So this uh, part of the video is focusing on demand. So let's uh, look at the PowerPoint and then so um, as we discuss uh, the demand so supply uh, is having um, uh, uh, the same uh, ideas like quantity supplied uh, the amount of product that the firm desires to sell in some time period is called the quantity supplied of that product and quantity supplied is the amount that firms are willing to offer for sale and not necessarily the quantity actually sold. So again, the same thing like the actually sold and the quantity supplied uh, is two different things. Uh, and the, uh, the idea we can explain is from stock and flow concept, what we did in the demand uh, chapter, uh, the, the demand side. Uh, so again, uh, the quantity supplied is a flow concept and the actual uh, quantity sold as a stock concept at a very particular time. But uh, the, the the important thing you uh, we have to remember here is the supply is again, the supply is the quantity that uh, the seller is willing to sell. Uh, and the second thing must be there that uh, he has the capacity to sell and he has a plan to sell. So these are the all the three conditions must be fulfilled to make a supply and quantity supplied we just discussed. So quantity supplied is a willingness and it is uh, uh, again having a uh, many data points, uh, but the actual sale is a particular data point on that particular time. So again, the stock uh, flow and stock concept. Now, what is uh, uh, important here to uh, understand, uh, what is the relationship between quantity supplied and the price? And we see again with the Cetras Paribus uh, idea uh, that all other things are constant, it's not changing. Uh, and uh, only we study the relationship between the price and the quantity supplied. So we see there is a positive relationship or, uh, or a direct relationship. When we are saying positive relationship, uh, the, the reason for this is that producers are interested in making profit. So when they see that uh, the prices are increasing, so they want to sell more. And that's why there is an uh, increase in price, uh, motivate the uh, producers or, uh, to increase uh, the supply and sell more. And by this way, they can make more profit. So if the price of a particular product rises, then the production and the sale of this product is more profitable and they want to sell it more. Uh, when we present this uh, idea of uh, uh, quantity supplied and price with the help of a, a table or a data, uh, that's what we call it as a, a supply schedule. And we see here that the price of the apples um, uh, and uh, quantity supplied. So as we see that the price is increasing, the quantity supplied is also increasing. So we see here the 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And we also see here that uh, the quantity supplied is increasing from 20 to 45 to 65 to 80 to 95. And when we present this uh, data with the help of a, a curve, we call it as a supply curve. And as we know that the relationship between these two are positive, so we will find it an upward sloping uh, supply curve. And the supply curve is like upward sloping, uh, going upward. And this upward sloping reflects that when one variable is increasing, the other variable is also increasing. So that's a relationship. Now, Again, uh, the <clears throat> if the price is changing, uh, then we move along the uh, along the curve. So that's the reason. But there are other variables uh, uh, that can uh, cause shift of the supply curve. It can shift to the right or it can shift to the left. So a change in any other variable, that price uh, will shift the supply curve to a new position. And that variables can be prices of input, input prices, like uh, what we need to uh, uh, use as a raw material as a input to produce like one of the uh, the most important input for any good we produce is a labor so if the labor cost increase uh, we will supply less and if the labor cost go down we will supply more so that's the one thing electricity all these things that uh, that we use to produce something is uh, called as input prices so input prices decrease supply increase why because the profit margin increasing Technology. Technology, we see that over a period of time when uh, new and new technologies are introducing in manufacturing, in agriculture, in any other uh, uh, business. Uh, so output is increasing and by this way, the supply is increasing. 
uh, we can see uh, in every industry, in every uh, area of a business that the supply is increasing over the last 100 years, over the last 50 years, or over the last 20 years. So we see that these all are very uh, uh, significantly related to the change in technology of doing business. Now, if we if, if the way of doing business change, then definitely is going to uh, positively impact the supply. So technology is important. Uh, government taxes and subsidies. So definitely, if we impose taxes, uh, what is going to happen uh, on the uh, if we impose taxes on the, uh, on the seller, the, the price will increase. And definitely, uh, when the price will increase, uh, uh, the price, the price is not getting the seller the price uh, portion of a price is going to the uh, government so that imposed taxes is going to reduce the supply but if the government is providing a subsidy which is opposite to the tax like if they say okay you sell one unit you get the uh, 100 from the uh, uh, consumer or the customer we will pay you 10 or a 5 as a addition so that's going to be increase the uh, supply uh, prices of other goods, right? Definitely, if there's a related goods price are increasing or decreasing, so definitely the supply is going to change. If we think that this alternative or this substitute is going to be more in demand and uh, the the price will increase for that, so we stop producing this, we try to produce that product. So that's the way the price of other goods are also affecting. Significant change in weather, definitely the weather has an important reason for uh, like if we have very good weather uh, very uh, timely rains and everything is on time uh, and definitely our supply is going to increase uh, but if there is any uh, uh, distortion or disruption in uh, the climate or weather because of that the supply is going to affect number of suppliers a very common sense thing that if there are number of suppliers increase uh, the supply will increase and if the number of suppliers go down the supply will decrease now, again, uh, uh, very similar to the demand, like we have a two variables like price and quantity supplied. Uh, but if the third variable change, then what is going to happen? The shift, the curve, the shift. And here we see that the quantity supplies thousand of bushels per year before innovation. Let's assume there is an innovation in the uh, uh, technology to grow apples. And after that, we see that the price is $20. The, before that innovation, the, the quantity supplied is 20, but with this innovation, the quantity supplied is 50, and that caused a shift of the curve to the right. So any positive impact, uh, which can uh, and be the input prices, which can be a technology, which can be a government subsidy, which can be uh, 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 good weather, or, or which can be favorable weather, or which can be increase in the number of sellers, uh, that is going to shift to the right. Now, the last point, uh, like what we uh, did in our uh, demand uh, side when we were discussing uh, change in supply and quantity supply, change in quantity supply. So these are the two th things you must have to uh, understand and make it very clear in your mind. Uh, one is change in supply. Change in supply is can uh, is uh, uh, because of all these reasons what we discussed. Uh, like prices of imports, technology, government taxes or M subsidies, price of other pro uh, products, significant change in weather and number of sellers. So these all factors or determinants or uh, variables cause change in supply. The only variable which can cause the change in quantity supplied is the price, price of the product itself. So Change in supply reflects the shift of the curve. And we already discussed that these are the factors that cause shift of the curve. And change in quantity supplied is caused by the change in price. And that is movement along the curve. So that is movement along the curve. So this way, uh, we discuss the uh, supply side. Uh, in the first part, we discussed the demand. Now we discuss the supply. In the next part, we're going to discuss about combining these two ideas and that what we call it as a market equilibrium.